Hi everyone, welcome back to channel. I am Monica. If you are handling internal and IT and your requests are scattered across emails and chat, then this video is for you. In this video, I will walk you through a real use case, internal ticketing use case using Jira Service Management and Microsoft 365 for Jira by Yasun. This app brings Microsoft Chats, Outlooks and Jira Service Management into a one integrated workflow so that your employees and support teams can work smarter and faster. But before jump into the solution, let's take a quick look at the problem support team faces with the internal ticketing. Internal ticketing often becomes chaotic because requests come in through MS Teams chats, Outlook or even whole way conversation. This type of process brings low visibility, frustration and lot of manual work for both users and agent. Now that we have seen the challenges, let's look how the internal ticketing can be transformed completely with the help of Microsoft 365 for Jira. You will find Microsoft 365 for Jira on Atlassian Marketplace. You can go and try it for free. I have already covered the detailed overview of Microsoft 365 for Jira in my other video. You can see the video on the screen and I will also mention the link in the description below so you can go and check that out. But for this video, we are focusing specifically on how to use this app for internal ticketing use case from request to resolution. So after installing this app, you will come to the uh, settings, app settings, then you will click on getting started. And when you will click on the getting started, come to the start with the use case. There are the four use cases are available here. And in today's video, we will explore the internal ticketing. These two stakeholder and external project managements are coming soon, but internal ticketing and incident management, you can use it. Now I will go and click on explore for the internal ticketing. It will give you uh, the description what this use case will do for you. So if you will set this use case, then you can streamline your internal request from submission to the resolution. Then here you will choose your project. You can go and select your JSM project like ITSM sample space. Once you will select the project, all uh, the configuration will be completed automatically. Although you can customize those uh, configuration according to your own needs. This particular use case has three step, raise support request, customer facing communication and support team communication. Now I will switch to the another instance where I have already set up this use case and this app. So this is my instance and when you will uh, come to the project and go to the project setting, I have already enabled the internal ticketing use case for this particular project you will come here and then you will click on the apps after that you will click on microsoft 365 features and then here you can see the internal ticketing is already pre-configured setting up the use case is easy admin can start with a predefined use case and enabling a use case in this app saves time ensure proper configuration and reduce setup effort by applying predefined settings tailored to that use case now i will come to the explore and here you can see i have already selected my project which is web gentle after enabling this use case and selecting the web gentle project for this use case i will go to the ms chat and show you how you can raise a request as an employee or the internal customer you will come to the ms chat and then you will find this it support where you can select your web gentle project from there I will use the same account for both the role here, customer and the agent. So don't be confused because I'm using the same account and same name for both the roles for the demo. Now as a customer, I will go to the web channel and then I will create a common request. I will come to request a new account over here and then I will write a summary, create a new Jira account then I will select a system Jira and here hi create a create a Jira account for Nitish if you want to share it with the participant you can and then just hit the create button 
here you will find exactly the same interface that we have in the data service management you can choose uh, your service dex portal and you have my request and activity once the request will uh, created you can see this message your request has been submitted now i will switch the agent view to show you how the agent will see this request this is my agent view and this is web gentle project here I have my request create a new Jira account. I will click on this and as an agent, I can start the MS chat, send the Outlook email and I can also create the Outlook meeting. These options are coming from the Microsoft 365 for Jira. And here right now, I'm just going to assign this particular ticket to myself. Now I will go here and I will start the Microsoft chat during the use case setup you can preset all communication templates and define who will be the part of the chat based on static users or Jira fields this preset functionality applies to all features with Microsoft 365 for Jira and makes communication quicker now I will start the customer chat and then here I will also choose the participant let's suppose I can choose this one and then i can start chat this app provides automation rules that automatically updates issue statuses and adjust the sla timelines when a customer initiate a chat this helps streamline support workflows and ensure timely service delivery once i start the chat as an agent you can see customer is also notified i will come to the chat as a customer and then uh, here the agent has started a chat you can see the message from the agent side this is the customer view I will reply uh, yes I need one account and once the employee reply the agent will also get the message here yes I need one account and okay let me discuss this with my team and the agent can reply directly inside the Jira service management. There is no need to switch from Jira service management to the Microsoft chat. The agent can reply directly from the JSM and the customer directly communicate from the MS chat. And here you can also give the reaction. Now I will come here as an agent. I can come here and then I can start an internal chat with my teammates let's suppose i will start the internal chat with the different alex this one and then the chat title can you please help me here i can same copy and paste here and then i can start the internal chat with the internal uh, teams my team member okay now i will come here and then you can see can you please help me the chat is here which i have started with the alex alex can also reply and provide me the solution for that let's suppose uh, hey can you give me admin access to create account or you can do that so alex can uh, reply and maybe he can reply okay account has been created now i will come here and as an agent i can also switch uh, the chat from internal to the external i will go to the customer one the external one and provide the solution to the customer over here uh, hello customer or maybe any employee name account has been created and then i can send it to the customer as an agent i can also create the internal chat as well as i can also try this particular ticket in a channel when you will click on try it in a channel you will have an option to choose the channel you can uh, start it and you can just ask can you or maybe can anyone provide the solution here you can discuss your problem in the ms channels you can start the conversation and once the agent start the conversation you can see the same conversations at the ms side come here and then you can see inside the it department support can anyone provide the solution so the people who are inside this particular channel 
uh, can provide you the solution or you can discuss with them here on the microsoft channel you can also see these beautiful adaptive cards where you can see the information about your tickets like the project is there key summary status due date and when you will click on show more you can see the information about other fields as well these adaptive cards with jira informations makes collaboration is smoother although you can also customize these adaptive cards according to your own requirements here in the agent view switch to the customer view and provide the solution accordingly so agent can also uh, start the internal chat as well as triage this particular ticket in the channel now uh, as an agent i can also send the email from the outlook if you will come here then i can send the external email as well as i can uh, send the email to a particular design team internally so if i will go and click on the external email you can mention uh, the email id let's suppose i will do it here and if you want to keep someone to cc you can do it subject emails and then you can send from here there is also one thing that i can do as an agent to book a meeting using an outlook calendar i can click here and then i can come to the support meeting i want to book a support meeting with my customer you can see the title is prefilled over here i can add the attendees if you want start date start time and end time location comments and then you can send it and when you will create the meeting using the outlook calendar you can come to the chat and here you can see uh, the people who are in this particular channel will also get the details of using the smart connector for jira and they can directly join the meeting from here so there is one way to book a meeting or to schedule a meeting with the customer and the another way is to send the booking request to your customer so that they can uh, create the booking as per the agent availability you can come here and then click on waiting for booking once you will change the status to waiting for booking the customer or you can see the employee will get an option to book a time with you and here you can see was changed waiting for booking by agent and this is the option to schedule a meeting i will click on schedule a meeting and then here uh, the support book booking if you want to book 30 minutes one hour so it's up to the customer so that as a customer I will book the 30 minutes and then I can also select the staff I want with Pradeep Gupta 17 and I can select the time I can mention the name here as in customer which is my first name and last name and then I can book the time with the agent as a customer you can reschedule you can cancel booking or create a new booking so this is also the good way if you want your uh, customer or your employee should select a time according to your availability then you can use this scheduler meeting functionality which is provided by microsoft 365 for jira using microsoft bookings now i will come back to the agent view and we saw only a one way to create a request which is microsoft uh, chats now i will tell you how as a customer you can raise your request if you are on the outlook so i will come to the outlook and then you will find exactly the same it support option that you were having over here in the microsoft teams to raise a request you can click here in the it support and then you will find exactly the same interface that we have in the gsm or in the ms team you can go and create your request directly from the outlook so as a customer you can create a request directly from the ms chat as well as from the outlook now i will come to the microsoft chat again and here as an agent if i am discussing something and i am finding this particular thing should be created as a new request i can select it and then i can go and create the jira issue or you can say a new ticket in the jira service management where you can select the project you can select the request type summary approvers or if you want to fill the other fields then you can click on the all fields and then you can create it the other way to create the 
issue or the tickets as an agent you can come to the outlook i will go to the mails so here maybe as an agent you are reading a email and where you find okay this particular email request should be created as an ticket in the jira service management or a work item in jira service management then you will find this yasun icon over here jira for outlook you can click and then hit the new issue once you will hit the new issue then you can create the issue directly from the outlook in your web gentle jsm project you can see the project name is here request type and these are the fields of the service portal so this is how as an agent you can also create the request directly from the outlook now come back to our tickets in the JSM as an agent and after scheduling meeting and booking the time with the customers now finally the customer is happy and customer is replying thank you for the help you can mark it done now I will switch to the agent view here I will come to the chat and you can see okay thank you for the help you can mark it done I can make a reaction and after that I can say thank you and then I can go and resolve this particular issue update when you mark this particular ticket as a resolve then all the chat uh, history or chat backups will be attached to that particular work item or ticket if you will go and click on the PDF then here you can see all the conversations are here so this is very good to keep the history of your tickets along with the pdf backup i also like this app help us to save a summary of the chat conversation in the internal notes here you can see this is a chat summary as a customer you can also directly provide your feedback from the uh, ms chat you can go and resolve it and say great service and submit the feedback so this is uh, also the good way to provide the feedback directly from the microsoft teams that's how you can manage the internal ticketing effectively with the help of microsoft 365 for jira app it helps you to save the time make the communication at one place and make things easier for both employees as well as the support team if you have any question, then feel free to ask in the comment below and try this app today. I will also mention the link in the description box. You can go and check this app directly from there. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.